your art with Clark. Hey, art friends. We are going to draw an optical illusion. And for this video, you will need a piece of paper, a black marker. I have a Sharpie, but you do not have to have a Sharpie. You need one of two things. You need to get a piece of paper, preferably a piece of paper that is not white so that you can see it. Um, draw one sole of a shoe or a sandal, be thinking of a sandal, and we're gonna trace it. You only want one because you want each footprint to look exactly the same. We're gonna try to make it look like sandals are kinda coming out at you. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna lay it down. Now, if you have a younger brother or sister or you just have small feet, you could just use shoes to trace, okay? Um, but I'm up here at school and I don't have my little daughter's shoe, so this is what I got. I'm gonna trace it. Be sure you have one hand on your tracer and the other hand tracing. That way it doesn't wiggle around on you. All right, now I drew an X on this side. That way I don't accidentally repeat it because when you draw the other side, if you're using a tracer, you need to flip it. I think I'm going to scoot this one up a little bit, give some interest. You could put them side by side or back a little. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to trace this. Uh, if you mess up and you draw off of your tracer, do not worry, you could always just get another piece of white paper. Luckily, I keep messing up into the paper I'm not worried about. Yay. All right, friends, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna come up here. These are gonna be like the slide-on type of shoes and don't draw the, the slide-on part yet. You're gonna do that after you start drawing with your ruler. One supply I left out when I was introducing this video was a ruler. You need to have a ruler, okay? I purposely found one that was really thin um, because I don't want my lines to be too far apart. I think that would kind of mess up your illusion if they are. So, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put my ruler on the edge of the paper. And I'm gonna go across. Okay, and then I'm going to come down, put my ruler on that line that I just drew, and keep going down. All right, when you get to your sandal, just stop, go on the other side, and continue. We're going to end up coloring in a lot of this sandal, but don't do that yet until we've drawn the, uh, the top part of that shoe. That way you don't accidentally color in the area that's going to be the top part of the shoe. And when you get to the sandal, stop, come on to the other side, continue. Again, just like the tracer, keep your hand on the uh, ruler so that it doesn't slide around on you. I really try to press down as hard as I can there. And then I'll scoop my hand along with that ruler because it will slide around on you, okay? Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I think that I want to go through here and I'm going to connect to that line right there because that looks like it lines up about where the slip on part would go. And I'm going to draw a rainbow line and connect over like that. All right. I think I'm going to have it a little wider than just right here. So I'm going to keep drawing. Come down 
here. Stop. Come over here. Continue. Stop. Continue. Let's draw in these lines and then we'll go back and put the tops of this shoe in. I may have jumped ahead of myself, but probably beginning to get the idea where I'm going with this. I've done this project with you guys with a hand. We bent all the lines to make it look like a hand was popping out. It's sort of similar to that. This project is easiest if you have a younger brother or sister with teeny tiny feet and you can just trace those shoes. But hey, it's fun practicing to draw something difficult to me. I like that. I like a challenge. I don't know about you guys. And if you draw something and it looks nothing like what you wanted to draw, don't worry about it. We're just learning. You're supposed to make mistakes, believe it or not. That's how we learn. Okay, guys, I'm going to make a big top part of this sandal. Um, so I think I'm going to come all the way down here. And um, I'm trying to copy that curve. So when I'm drawing this next line, um, my eye is on that. Even if you want to uh, use a pencil, in case you mess this up, you could do that. So I'm looking at that. Coming down and connecting. Ah, uh, that was off a little bit. There we go. Okay. And you're also going to want to come in right here with this one. And they all, everywhere there's a line, you're going to need to come across. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to come back here. And it. We're gonna come up here. Yeah, that'll work. Bend it, connect, and come up here and connect. Now this project looks really cool if you uh, really get the lines a little thicker. So if you want to go back with your ruler and thicken them, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but let me show you the next part of this video that really makes it pop out even more right now it's kind of hard to tell that they're sandals um, but what you're going to do is color in everything but the tops of these sandals black and then we're done so watch guys i'm going to fast forward this next part of the video and that will be a wrap